Now, truth be told, a lot of us could use a boost of confidence. And doing so doesn't have to be as monumental a challenge as you may think it is. There are actually some easy ways to boost your confidence. And on today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 easy and actionable steps that can definitely improve how you perceive yourself. From simple daily habits to mindset shifts, I'm going to share with you things you can do to navigate your professional life or transform your personal life. Now, if you're new here, welcome Jeff, your style OG. On this channel, we discuss various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like John Hawkins, salute. First up on the list of 10 easy ways to build up your confidence, being more self-aware. When you know your strengths, your weaknesses, and your emotions, it allows you to set realistic goals that align with your abilities. Self-awareness enables the recognition and acceptance of your personal limitations, enabling you to see them as challenges, not as obstacles. It also prioritizes effective decision-making and problem-solving. By knowing your values and your priorities, you can make choices that resonate with your authentic self. This helps reinforce a positive self-image and also contributes to emotional regulation. It does so by reducing the impact of setbacks on your confidence. Self-awareness gives you true self-esteem that's reinforced by inner confidence, not outside validation. Confidence stems from authenticity and self-awareness is the root of true authenticity. Positive self-talk is a simple yet potent method of cultivating more confidence because it directly influences your mindset and your self-perception. By consciously choosing affirming thoughts, you can reshape your internal dialogue, replacing self-doubting thoughts. This helps foster belief in your potential and your abilities. It also directly counteracts negative self-talk, which can lead to stress and anxiety. It not only boosts your confidence, but it leads to a more proactive solution-based approach. By being more positive in your self-talk, in acknowledging your accomplishments, whether big or small, it contributes to a positive feedback loop that definitely enhances your confidence. Now, when it comes to boosting your confidence or other challenges you might be facing, you may have decided you could use some outside help, some therapy. But starting therapy can be hard, and the right therapist for you might not be in your area. Not to mention some people find the face-to-face -face interaction of therapy uncomfortable. If this sounds anything like you, I highly recommend you start your therapy journey with today's video sponsor, BetterHelp. With BetterHelp, you can have therapy sessions via phone call, video chat, or via messaging, whichever therapy method is comfortable for you. BetterHelp.com can match it with one of the over 30,000 licensed therapists in their network, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise than might be immediately available in your area. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who's trained to listen to you and to give you unbiased, helpful advice. And getting started with BetterHelp is very simple. All you have to do is go to betterhelp.com slash styleog, fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and you will be matched with your therapist in most cases within 48 hours or less. You will be able to schedule a therapy session at a time that's convenient for you. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life. Now, not only did BetterHelp sponsor today's video, they've got a special offer for the StyleOG family. When you hit that link in the description or go to betterhelp.com slash StyleOG, you'll get 10% off your first month of therapy. So if you think you might benefit from therapy, consider starting your therapy journey with BetterHelp. Hit that link in the description or go to betterhelp.com slash styleog and start on your path to a healthier, happier life. Setting realistic goals is a simple yet effective way to build your confidence because it provides a structured path to success. By setting realistic goals that align with your true abilities, it allows for accomplishment and achievement, building your self-esteem brick by brick. Setting realistic goals also contributes to a clear sense of purpose and direction. This helps reduce the ambiguity and self-doubt that can happen when you set these outlandish, unachievable goals. And when you achieve realistic goals, it incrementally increases your confidence step by step. And it also promotes resilience in the face of setbacks. When you do have realistic goals, when you see a hurdle or an obstacle, you see it as a challenge for you to overcome instead of some insurmountable, unachievable goal. Realistic goals provides a structured framework for your daily life and your sense of purpose, giving you a positive feedback loop and a continuous cycle of success. 
Improving your skills is a direct way to build up your confidence because it has a correlation with your level of competency. As you invest time and effort into building new skills, it gives you a first-hand evidence and allows you to be a witness of your abilities to get things done. When you know you have more in your toolkit and your level of competency goes up, it's only natural that your level of confidence will go up as well. Setting skill-related objectives allows you to take big tasks and break them down into smaller bites. Each new skill set is a building block for more confidence and contributes to a positive feedback loop. Each new skill set contributes to your belief in your capacity to accomplish tasks and your ability to achieve desired outcomes. The more you know, the more you can get done, the more self-esteem you'll get as a result. Developing a growth mindset is a great way to build confidence because it cultivates the potential for continuous improvement. Whereas a fixed mindset sees abilities as static traits, a growth mindset sees obstacles and challenges as an opportunity to learn and evolve. Having this growth mindset, you see setbacks as temporary and surmountable. When you have a growth mindset, you no longer see obstacles as insurmountable challenges. You see them as opportunities to develop new skills and strategy. And developing these new skills and strategies gives you an adaptability mindset that allows you to overcome obstacles you used to think weren't achievable. Having a growth mindset fosters a positive relationship with effort. When your hard work and effort contributes to your improvement as an overall guy, it reinforces a sense of control over your abilities and your life naturally increasing your confidence. Dressing well and grooming yourself is definitely a way to build your confidence as it can significantly impact your self-perception and your external impression. When you take the time to present yourself well, choose clothing that reflects your personality and your style and makes you feel comfortable, you can definitely see a positive shift in the way you view yourself. Dressing well can contribute to a heightened sense of self-worth. It's because you're taking time to value and respect the way you present yourself to the outside world. You are in charge. You control your narrative, building your self-esteem. Not to mention when you dress yourself well and groom yourself properly, you tend to get more compliments. This external validation can boost any person's confidence. Not to mention dressing well and grooming yourself is the direct reflection of your level of self-care. It signals to both you and the outside world that you value and respect you. Facing your fears is a great way to build your confidence because it involves confronting and overcoming challenges that previously seemed insurmountable. When you step out of your comfort zone and face your fears head on, it can give you a profound sense of accomplishment and achievement. Not to mention that it provides an opportunity for personal growth and development. It helps you develop resilience, adaptability, and the capacity to handle adversity. And each of these successful encounters with fear reinforces the belief in your abilities. And it helps dismantle that negative cycle of avoidance. When you avoid your fears, it naturally gives you stress and anxiety. And of course, when you conquer these fears, it naturally reduces your anxiety and builds up your self-esteem and your self-belief. Facing your fears not only is a transformative process, it expands your comfort zone, further contributing to a robust and resilient sense of self. Practicing good posture is a very easy way to build up your confidence because it has a direct impact on your physical and mental well-being. When you have an upright and open posture, it conveys a sense of self-assurance. When you stand or sit with good posture, it projects an image of strength, control, and poise that can directly influence how you actually see you. Not to mention good posture has a physiological effect. Research has shown that good posture can improve your energy levels and your mood. You can have direct increased levels of confidence because good posture actually reduces your stress level. It also enhances your presence and your positiveness in social interactions. It fosters a sense of self-command and authority, naturally boosting your confidence. It can directly affect how others see you, and when you see that, it can reflect in your internal confidence. Surrounding yourself with positive people is an excellent way to build up your confidence because it creates a supportive and uplifting social environment. Positive individuals can supply encouragement, constructive feedback, and a belief in your unique ability. And interacting with more optimistic, positive people can directly counteract your negative self-talk. Great thing about positive people, they can serve as role models, their resilience, their strategies to overcoming challenges. By being a first-hand witness to these optimistic people, you can take these strategies and apply them to your life. Positive social interactions also gives a sense of belonging. 
When you're involved in a great group, when you contribute and feel valued, it naturally builds up your confidence. When you're valued and understood by others, it has direct positive impact on your self image. It creates conducive atmosphere for your confidence to flourish. Taking care of your physical health is a great way to build your confidence because there's a direct connection between your physical and your mental well-being. Regular exercise, balanced nutrition, and the right amount of quality sleep contribute to enhanced energy levels, your overall vitality, and your sense of control over your body and your life. When you take care of your physical health and engage in physical activities, it releases endorphins, the feel-good hormones from your brain. Not to mention, of course, taking care of yourself makes you look good. When you look good, you feel good. When you like the way you present to the outside world, you like how you feel on the inside as well. Taking care of your physical self is a measurable and tangible way to see self-improvement, leading to personal growth and solidifying your belief that you can achieve goals through effort and hard work.